What have I done? Somebody send help. So I've got this uh, air conditioning vacuum pump. You use it for sucking the air out of the pipes when you're installing an air conditioner. Uh, it's a Tasco brand, good Japanese brand, a TA150SB-2. I think they don't make this one anymore. They've got a newer model. But um, I have been using it quite a bit, and I thought, hey, I'll open it up, clean out all the old oil, because the oil, the oil does get a, a bit uh, grody after time. And, um, you know, give it a clean out and get it back into service. But I, when I pulled out, I noticed that because of the moisture that goes through it, the cast iron parts were getting a little bit... How you doing? So I thought, oh, you I'll just take the section of the pump apart and uh, give them a clean up and put it back together. How hard can it be? Yeah, well, I'm sure the uh, dwarves that uh, delve too deep in the mines of Moria were like, hey, what's the worst thing that could happen? Um, yeah, I delved too deep and now I can't get it back together. So I've got some ideas though. So basically what happens is we've got the motor section here and it's got a little keyed... Uh, shaft in there and we got one of these you see that's got a flat on the end there and that goes in click into the hole and you see this uh it's got a kind of a slot all the way through the light i can get the light right there you can, yeah you can see there right through so you got these little bits of plastic or nylon or something and they sit there and they stick out so when this spins, they push outwards and then they, it sits in there and uh, it spins around and it kind of like sucks all the, uh, the air through because as it comes around, it gets bigger and then it pushes out the other side, right? So it's got two stages. We've got two of them. There's a second one there and that one kind of links on like that and we've got two. So it's a two-stage pump, positive displacement, Pretty standard sort of stuff, but the problem is it is such small tolerances that if I, I'll make sure that doesn't fall on the floor. If I put this one on here, you can see it makes a cavity in there. Then there's a new, another piece that goes on top, which closes the cavity uh, that way. And we got like your rotor sitting inside there. The tolerances are so fine that if that is moved out of position by a fraction of a millimeter. It just binds up. So I've been trying to figure out how it is that they put this thing together in the factory because there has to be a way that is simple and easy that you can just do it. I've got two theories and I'm going to try one of them and try and get it back together. So one of my theories is they might have a piece that is mis per perfectly machined they sit it in there and it'll be like the correct shape and they put this on top and it's it fills up like the the hole and then it's held there they do the bolts up and they can take that piece out and it's perfectly positioned and it's referencing the hole here that's perfectly machined it's like centered on there and then it's the correct shape right the other idea i had was to get there's three screws big long screws that go all the way through and once you put, because once you put one section on, you put some screws in. You put the next section on, you put some screws in. Do, 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 and you make, work your way up. Then at the end, you put these big long screws, three of them, all the way through. And they hold the whole thing nicely together, right? And so my thinking was, if I get three rods, I can then slide these pieces on. Click, 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 and they should line up. Fingers crossed. So, I talked to my good friends at PCBWay because, as uh, you may have seen in some of my other videos, they don't just make PCBs, they also do CNC and uh, CNC machining and turning as well. So, I got some things made. Nice pins with a thread on the bottom, M5 thread and a slot at the top. I just dropped some drawings in uh, CAD. Uh, I used Rhinoceros 3D and I... Uh, Sent them the step files, and uh, yeah, I got some beautiful stainless steel. N wonderfully machined. Fantastic workmanship. Pins. So I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm, I'm still a bit dubious that this is actually going to do the job. 
But the idea is to put those on there like that. And hopefully they're accurate enough and the whole thing is flat enough that this will slide on. Now, I can already see that it ain't. So I can't use three of them. It looks like things don't quite line up. So this doesn't seem to be the correct way. But I'm going to persevere. So I'm going to have to do some finagling and whatnot and try and get these to line up perfectly. Because it looks like there's certain parts of this are machined as precision and other parts, you can see the outside is really rough. So uh, you can see they've machined the top there to get the uh, the flat for that um, that plug there when they've done the through drill and all that. It's cast, uh, it's cast iron, I guess, and it's all um, been machined afterwards. So I think, what if I'd use just two of them? Yeah, like that, see? Look at that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stack this all this up. I'm just playing with it now, but I'm going to stack it up and hopefully I can get it all lined up. Just like what I'm doing here. That one's got a bit tight, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to play with it. Um, it's going to take me some time, but I'm going to uh, come back once I've got something workable here. Because if it's not perfectly lined up, these things will sit kind of skewed. And even like, even the width of your hair, of, of human hair is, is too much. That's a massive clearance compared to the clearances inside this pump. And it will just bind because it, you know, like it's, skew sideways and it rubs so give me a moment I'll be back and hopefully it will work all right so after finagling with this thing a bit if I use these two it seems to all slide in if I try and use three probably because of reasons and I haven't figured out fully their process um, it does tend to bind up a bit so I've got the first plate in and uh, all tightened up in there nicely so we can put the first housing on, slides down just nice. Uh, we've got the uh, rotor in there. Alright, then the next one, which will go... Is it that way? Yes, that way. No, we've got to put those screws in first. Okay, and then we can put this one in, which goes that way, and that slides on nicely. looking good so now it should be just a matter of reassembly so I'll get all this thing back together put the cover back on and we'll fire it up see what happens all right we're all back together looking pretty good let's turn it on and see what happens Looking pretty good. That was a ticket. Some uh, pins. Thanks, special thanks to PCBWay for their CNC service for making my precision pins. 
to get that lined up and all reinstalled. So that is good to go. Fantastic. Thumbs up. Now, if you have one of these, I would strongly suggest you do not dismantle the uh, pump inside because it is a absolute royal pain in the bum to get all lined up again. Even with these, it was still a bit of a, uh, a struggle, but they definitely were the key to uh, getting it done. So check down below. Uh, PCB will have uh, promotions on all the time. The latest one is going to be there now. And uh, yeah, they do CNC, not just PCBs, 3D printing as well, uh, molding, a whole bunch of other stuff. So uh, check out their services. They do some quite good work. I hope you found that interesting, somewhat informative, and we'll see you in the next one.